Aisha Varma, our top focus remains on the horrific case where a woman was dragged. Now we have some breaking news coming in. We're going to be shifting focus to that. Now, what we know is that fresh CCTV footage has now emerged. That is what we are showing you on your screens right now. Now, the latest information is, as per the CCTV footage, is that there was a friend who was reportedly with the woman before she was mowed down by the car and dragged for about 10 to 12 kilometers. We will be trying to connect with the reporter to get you more clarity on the different CCTV visuals that have been coming in over the last hour because a lot of CCTV visuals have been coming in over the last day or so. Now, remember the initial CCTV visuals that we had received were when it was found out that a woman was killed and dragged for what was initially thought was four kilometers. But then in a police conference yesterday, they confirmed that she was dragged for 10 to 12 kilometers. Now, remember the five people who are accused in this case, they have been apprehended and they are in police custody and they will remain there for the next two days. They were given three-day three, three, three day custody yesterday. What we do know now is that fresh CCTV footage has emerged and that shows two people on the scooty. That's we, what we are playing out for you on your screens right now where the victim was seen with a friend. We're also putting out a timeline of these footages and you can see that on the headers that we're giving you for the CCTV visuals as well. Now we will try to try to connect with the reporter to get you more information on the cars that we see in these visuals as well. Uh, for right now, as per initial findings and as per what friends and family members have said, the victim was accompanied by a friend. We do have CCTV footage that shows that as well. And what we're going to be seeing later today is that the Delhi Chief Minister and the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister will later on be meeting with the kin of the victim. Now remember, this is a horrific case of a 20-year-old woman who was killed after her scooter was hit by a car. Her body was, drag was dragged under the car for almost an hour over a distance of 10 to 12 kilometers and this case came to light on New Year's. It took place on New Year's. I'm crossing over to CNN News 18's Anshul Singh to get us more details. He's joining us live. Anshul, could you please analyze the foot CCTV visuals that have come in for us? What can you explain to our viewers? What can we see in the visuals? Uh, so yes, the new set of CCTV visuals that has come to the fore. These these uh, visuals are minutes before the accident had happened, and this actually tell. Uh, in this footage, we could actually see both the uh, vehicles, the vehicle of the victim and the vehicle of the accused in in, in the CCTV visual. So yes, this is a very incriminating uh, fact that has come to the fore. This is going to lead the investigation into a new direction altogether. If you see uh, that the manner in which uh, initially the uh, accused had said that it was uh, it was just an accident, but if you see that they had crossed their each other's vehicles at least 10 to 15 minutes before the entire incident took place. So yes, this is going to be a very very crucial part of this entire investigation that is being uh, done by the Delhi Police at this point in time. So yes, uh, the Delhi Police is uh, looking at all the CCTV footage at this point in time. We have access managed to access at least six to seven sets of CCTV uh, footage, uh, which actually. Establishes the entire sequence of events as to when did the accident happen and till what time was the uh, girl b below the car and she was being dragged around the national capital, in fact, around the outer districts of the national capital. So, yes, uh, the Delhi police at this point in time is analyzing all the CCTV footage, footages, and this is going to be a very crucial piece of evidence when the entire charge sheet is filed by the Delhi police in the court of law in the coming few days. Anshul, would you also be able to tell us what eyewitnesses have said about the incident? Uh, so yes, there are two to three eyewitnesses who have come to the fore. In fact, one of the person, Deepak, who was actually following the car at that very moment when the entire incident happened, he was in constant touch with the Delhi police and was telling them in which direction was the car moving. And after that, uh, the car managed to escape from, uh, from his purview and the car stopped at a particular location at the Y junction of the uh, Jaunty, uh, Jaunty village in Sultanpuri. Uh, that is the location where the car stopped and where they realized that the girl was stuck in under the car and they took the girl out, out from the car and they escaped. All these five accused escaped from the location, parked the car in the house and they from there they went uh, to their uh, to their own house. They, they claimed that they were very scared that something unto what is going to happen to them and hence they tried to escape from the location. Also, the accused in this entire case have come out and said that uh, the accident happened and they, uh, they got scared 
said uh, that they they might get caught and hence they uh, uh, panicked and they escaped from the location and also they were they were drinking so they escaped from the location also another uh, i witness that has come to the fore whom we spoke to yesterday as well he also said that he was a zomato delivery guy and he also saw the head of the girl hanging from beneath the vehicle uh, so he uh, goes ahead and uh, gives a complaint to the beat of officials who were on the ground and the beat officials did not respond to him in a very proactive manner and hence he had to go to deliver food so he went ahead uh, do, doing his job but yes when, when the story came uh, on the news and uh, on the newspapers he realized that it was the same case that has happened and then and then he came to the fore and he went ahead and recorded his statement in front of the police also another very crucial eye witness uh, could be or the, uh, another very crucial witness could be the second girl uh, whose cctv visuals we have uh, we have managed to access this second girl could actually also tell a lot about this entire incident and how this ent entire incident transpired because it is still very unclear that if the girl was there during the time of uh, uh, the incident or if she was dropped uh, minutes before the incident has happened so yes all these uh, the statement of the girl is going to be very very crucial today this statement will be recorded most likely be recorded under a 164 uh, crpc which means that it would be recorded in front of the magistrate and once the statement is recorded that statement cannot be changed and hence it is going to be a very very crucial piece of evidence uh, for the delhi police to solve this entire case and actually prove uh, that this was uh if at all this entire incident was an accident or was a planned murder absolutely anshul now one more aspect that i do want to ask you about is that in the recent cctv visuals that we've been able to access there's also beyond the visual of two people on a scooty we also see a car passing by after the scooty goes out of the frame do we know anything about that Uh, so uh, yes uh, this is the cctv visual in which we we saw that both these vehicles had actually crossed each other just 10 to 15 minutes uh, before the uh, incident took place so yes that remains to be seen as to how does the delhi police now uh, actually conjoin the entire sequence uh, sequence of events but yes the cctv footage is actually uh, 10 10 to 15 minutes before uh, the uh, the incident incident happened and uh, the uh, balino car that we are seeing it is the same vehicle uh, that that had actually uh, that that was the a uh, vehicle that was being driven by the accused so yes uh, we are expecting more clarity from the delhi police in the next few hours there is a very important press conference that will be conducted by the uh, uh, senior officials of the delhi police and in that in that we could get more clarity as to in which direction is this entire case going but yes what sources have been telling uh, telling us at this point in time is that the investigation is going in the right direction and they have managed to gather many evidences in this entire case and this again yet again proves the uh, dcp of the outer uh, out of the uh, delhi area wrong that uh, he initially came out and said that this is a case of accident but the investigation that is happening uh, there are many facets of this investigation that are coming to the fore by with every passing minute so we are we are expecting that in that press conference that, that is going to happen today more and more uh, clues would come to the fore and delhi police could actually give more clarity to the people and to the media as to how did the entire incident took place and was there any planned motive uh, behind behind this entire incident